Hello guys, how are you today on this fine, hot, muggy, humid, overcast Thursday? Wow, high summer. High summer is here and it's tough sometimes. Okay, so I know we've got some of these to do and some of these to do and I, you know what? I don't think I really care. I'm going to go lo look at this spot. It's a little bit empty and I honestly cannot remember, am I planning on leaving that empty or is it a thing that is already completed? And I, I know I did a, a walkthrough with you guys up the uh, western side here looking for as many things as possible, but I am wondering. Oh no, I did. Good, good. <clears throat> I wonder if I was looking on both sides of the road here, but I see we've got some cattails in here, so that's a good thing. So that means I was paying attention to both sides. I'm, I'm pleased. We've got some nice open fields, and that's okay. We got a little bit of a barnyard scene there, a, an excuse of some rocks to move that around. We've got some lovely travelers here out on the green. That's kind of nice. There you go. And yes, these are done. The water is planted with cattails. That's all okay. I'm wondering if I need one on the other side. Just just one over here. It feels a bit, I don't know, a bit neglected maybe. I'm not sure that's the right word. It, of course, I'm going to put it alongside the road, but that's, that's not too bad. Is that okay? Well, it's okay now. Let's put it that way. There we go. And that's been done. Yeah, it just, yes, it adds a bit of a dimension to it. It pulls your eye crazy. Even if you don't look at it, it just feels better for being there. But I didn't do anything with this one. This is, this one was more difficult, I remember, because we've got the fencing along the side there. And I won't be able to put any along that. So that was, I think that was the problem there, I believe. Is that okay? Yeah, this will, this is fine. Tis goodly. And you know what, we'll put one right there. Just adds a little bit of something through the trees there. That feels pretty good, actually. I'm, I'm happy with that. Oh, and here, nothing, nothing, I tell you. And I can't do it in the back there because there is fencing there already. And they will not let me double that up. That's too bad. But that's okay. We're used to it by now, right? It is what it is. Uh, I don't think, uh, yeah, the, the little whatsers there, the flamingos. Okay, I have to go around and over, and I can't get through there either. And around this side, there we go. <laughs> Eventually, right? Eventually. Along the back, sure. And just behind, yeah, just behind that stool. Is that okay? I think that's pretty good. This way. There we go. Lots, lots. Okay, so the campground is sorted. We know, I don't think I have to do anything in there. I will have to have another look at it before I'm, you know, confident that I didn't forget a thing. But for today, this spot, I think this has been determined that it was pretty much just going to stay as is. Um... I've, I've added a couple of trees there in the back because there was very much just sort of a straight line across the back of the campground there and then open field. And sometimes you get small trees that sort of grow out into a field. If it's not being plowed and taken care of, they do start to wander in. And, you know, most farmers will keep trees along the edges of things anyway because they're, you know, soil erosion and wind and all of those things are excellent reasons to... Uh, to leave some trees here and there. Can I do it this side? No, nope, not gonna let me. Ah, oh, come on, work, work with me. But it's not gonna. So we can only have them in the front, so that's where they will be. It is what it is. So we're just touching up a few things. I'm gonna be starting <laughs> at least a short series in YouTube today. <laughs> For my mother, yes, I have a special request of my 85-year-old mother to play Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> She's always been a cowgirl at heart. I mean, absolutely, positively, and I love it. My love of horses, that's where it comes from. My love of farming and the countryside, that's where it comes from. <laughs> 
so I've, I've uh, posted, I've sent her pictures of the horses in Red Dead, but she wants to see how they move and, and she wants to see the towns and the, the world. So I'm going to be doing a short series in, uh, in Red Dead Redemption for my mom, showing off my horses. Oh, that's fun. I, I'm, I'm actually quite happy. <laughs> It, this is awesome. Okay, so this is the rail we were using, right? We come up through here, we zip on past this a wee bit, our, our little tea farm. We're heading down into here. Do I want anything along this? Do I want some trees here? It feels like it needs the odd thingy. A wee thingy. couple of things on the corner there a little something over here I have to go look at this farm too this farm was very much just sort of smashed in <laughs> I don't know how else to say it now this is a great big open field and I think I'm just going to leave it we'll put you know what we'll put some sort of tree down here just to say yes we know it's a big empty spot we chose that on purpose this is not a mistake. See, I was here long enough to plant those trees. And then I decided that I didn't want to touch anything else. So we get a few trees through here, but we have lots of open space and that feels pretty good. I wish there were there was another fence. <coughs> God, excuse me again. I mean, there's that, but that's very much just I am a hedge, but this sort of thing. And we had some kind of random flowers in a fence like that that I could place along edges of things. That would be so nice. Because the cattails, they want water. I can't, I mean, I, I could plant a few along here, but I guess I have, actually. What am I saying? I could. I have up beside the barn. But I'm not sure that it feels right. I mean, it feels like it would have something. There would be the odd plant you know like something weeds gr longer grasses a nice long grass would have been lovely and I mean I suppose what I could through do through here I could just plant plant I could plant some water guys I love it when I talk good we could have a wee stream through here I suppose I don't know if this is a good idea or not but it looks like I'm going with it so we shall live with it I guess I don't know how often we'll ever even see this, but I mean, but it just, it starts at the rocks and that's okay. There could be a stream there, but then it just sort of, you know, ends out here. Like, look, I'm here, a lump in the, you know, it just, I don't know. Feels kind of weird. I guess we need a pool of some sort for it to end in a wee bit of a lake. I guess. Hmm. So much for my wide open plains. <sighs> sigh you know I mean well right oh my goodness you know you have these ideas and then what happens well life and there we go put these three there I don't know I mean we still get some open field I guess I guess that's okay Uh, good job here. It's always got to be the once, right? I mean, it's required. Oh, great job. And I didn't move it. I just pretended to. There we go. It's always got to be something. Mm, right there. Actually, along the rocks. Can I put anything along the rocks? I cannot because the rocks are fences, too. I could... I suppose that's not too bad. Well, anyway, and then a willow, right? Willows like the water. You shall have a wee willow right there. Actually, I'm wondering. Let's Yes, let's use up more space in a place you didn't want to use up any space at all. There we go. Oh, we have a feature. Look, it's a wee feature. Okay, I better leave before this gets so crowded that I don't like it anymore. But there it is. I'm, I'm just going to walk away. 
we have added a bit of quote unquote natural landscaping. There we are. Is I mean these were this stuff was put up here. It was random stuff that was sitting around on the property, and I just tossed it up here, and then added a tree and the flower, and went there. I did a thing, and I'm looking at it, going, yeah, you know what? It's fine. <laughs> I guess I really have done a thing. This I'm leaving. I think exactly as it is just walk away leave some space take a deep breath and be okay with that and then we would be heading down along here to um, to a place that needs a tree <laughs> as you do uh, except I won't find any in here took me a while before my eyes even focused. I was just, you know, you just start scrolling. You know where it's supposed to be, so you just start scrolling to get there, and then you look, and then you finally focus and go, oh, yeah, that's not right. Okay, this little farm here to my right, we're going to have to have a, a look at, because this was really just, I needed some place for vegetable trees, and there aren't many. There's just the four of them, and I stuffed them on this hill because the hill was empty, and it's not a great farm. It is is not my my happiest thing. I'll, I'm gonna yeah at all. And I've never done anything around the water in here. There's completed touches that have not been done. So let's do some. Add a few bits and bobs. It's a very crowded little hill. I'm not I'm not really happy with this place, but. I'm also not entirely sure what I would do about it. I'd have to redo the whole the whole vegetable um, tree section entirely if I'm going to do anything with this one. So, and I not I don't know that I'm inclined. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. So it's just a little farm. They've got their wee bit of garden, their own little pond, and then they have planted all the fields round about with vegetables. I mean, it's I guess it's all right. There was something about the, oh, I remember. I had put these solid brown ones up here for that, and then down here, for whatever reason, I put in a couple of yellow pots, and there have been times when I thought, well, you know, the lady of the house saw some yellow pots and went, yeah, I like those, and she decided to put them in, and, you know, that happens, and that's okay, and then there's been other times when I've gone, okay, that just looks wrong, so I, I, I you know what, maybe if I add more, because I've got the wisteria up here, and they're not in yellow pots, they're in those big, uh, those other things, and what is that, I've got dandelions planted over there in those. So I suppose as long as it's yellow, we're good. Uh, dandelions. I said, what am I looking for? There we go. <clears throat> yeah, I don't, I don't know about the wisteria, guys. I don't know. And about the, why is this here? Because I put a tree there. No other reason. It's just a back door in. This is the only way I ever come in and out, but that's all right, I guess. Yeah, I keep feeling like, you know, if I've got the yellow down there, should I have the yellow up here too, rather than these long planters? Should I just put three in a row and get rid of this? Decisions, decisions. Although they are bigger. I guess we could kind of justify needing the bigger planter because they're bigger. I'm not sure. But what I've done instead of removing them is I've added more. Now, I do have those yellow ones right here in the house, too. Right there at the front, don't I? Well, see, there's a thing. That That's okay. I'll leave the yellow ones. I may end up changing the wisteria ones yet, but I'll go ahead and leave the, these, uh, the yellow ones because I've put them in the garden as well. So let's put some uh, same plants. Sure. We're looking for continuity, for defining our spaces. Because this has always been what I considered the front of the play. The others are, you know, where the tractors come in and out or something like that. But this is the front. And I'm also feeling like, well, then define this as the front. Is there a way to make this feel like more like this is the, you know, this is our front gate. This is where you want to be.
and I could put I could put a sign with some sort of veg on it, right? Um, like here, and then this one in this direction. If I can get it to click in that direction. Oh, it had it! I had it and I lost it. There we go. Okay, so vegetables. We we have olives, olive oil. Ooh, fresh squeezed olive oil. Oh, yeah. In different varieties and everything. That sounds pretty cool, actually. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the trees that have got veg on them. That's it? Is that an olive? I think that's a great big black olive. Isn't that a beautiful thing? And what is in here? We've got bamboo, carob, and coffee, I think. Oh, you could come here and buy coffee bean, like fresh co oh, coffee beans. Maybe they roast their own coffee. Ooh. <laughs> I wonder if that smith would look like a roasting place. Huh. I wonder. We're going to have to look and see. What do the coffee beans look like in here? I have no idea. I, okay. You know what? Let's check. When all else fails, read the directions. Um, trees, please. What is that one? That is a date palm. That is what the coffee looks like. Okay, so we're looking for the coffee bean, folks. A little red cluster that's not grapes. Um, like so. So coffee and olives sold here. What does that mm, I I want to have, I want them to be roasting their own coffee now. Oh, I really do. <laughs> I got a feeling this has got the anvil. That's not really gonna feel like it, is it? That's a shame. That is, let's see. Is there any way we can convince ourselves that this looks like a place where they could roast coffee? If I could get the right button, I'd be doing okay. <sighs> it's a bit of a stretch, folks. <laughs> <coughs> is a wee bit of a stretch. Hey, darn. A wee bit. <laughs> yeah. It says define small, you silly woman. Wow, that would be so cool if we had a place that they were roasting their own coffee. An ice cream stand. I'm looking for something they gave they could use as a stand to sell it, perhaps, too, but I don't, yeah, the, oh, you know, a big bonfire isn't really, doesn't really scream roast your coffee beans here either, does it? Hmm, that's too bad. I could have had some serious fun with that. Oh, well, it was just a thought. Apparently not a good one. But I was excited for a whole 10 seconds there. It was pretty good. Uh, that's very much grape juicing. Hmm. Do, do. A bakery. Now this one could be a coffee roaster. Oh yeah. This could totally be a coffee roaster if we want to go that route. And all of a sudden, I do. <laughs> uh, what's that say in front? It does not say anything like bread is here. See, there's the unroasted beans. Are you seeing this? That's clearly an unroasted coffee bean. You know it. And inside there is clearly a loaf of bread but I only did that to keep my lunch warm I'm just warming up my sandwich for lunch that's all that's what it is so these guys grow some vegetables and their main things are fresh pressed olive oil is there anything we could use for an olive oil presser thing this maybe could we call that oh it's a little thingy too isn't it could we call this olive oil you know, we could have we have different kinds of olive oil, and you can come and pick the kind you want, the variety you want, or something, or you can get fresh roasted coffee beans right here. I'm feeling a little better about this. 
oh man, being able to buy different varieties of olive oil and we have a, a coffee roaster here in town. Actually, the coffee I'm drinking right now was roasted right here in town. It is Ethiopian Yerga Chef, which is my favorite coffee in the freaking world. Oh my gosh, I love this stuff. So I got a great big, massive bag of coffee beans for Mother's Day because my family knows me. And yes, I'm still drinking it because it really was a big bag. <laughs> But, uh, okay, so I'm, I'm feeling a little better. We've got some things growing up around the pond, giving it a little bit of a lived-in look. They've got their little garden here, just a little private place for them. They've got their crops, which are, a li it's a little crowded in here, but that's okay. We've got back ways for the tractors to get in. And then they're selling their fresh roasted coffee, which, oh, and you can smell it, or you can buy nice fresh pressed olive oil over here. I'm good. Okay, so another step has been taken along the train track of my heart <clears throat> and stuff. So yeah, and then this gets us up to Castle Station. I'm quite pleased with this area. I like the henge there a lot. I always feel good when I go by that. I have my own little henge. And then we've got, you know, the, the coffee shop here. You can go back to the relaxation center. And it's all feeling pretty good. Okay, folks, this one's done. Just another touch up along the way. I hadn't thought of the coffee olive oil angle before. That just came to me and I'm, I'm, I'm good with this. I'm fine. So thank you guys for being here. Thank you for your kindness, your follows, your comments, your, your viewing, the thumbs up and all the lovely, lovely things you do. And I guess I'll see you soon in Red Dead Redemption. Bye-bye. <laughs>